My name is Thais Wrightflower Gould Hacinto of Bridgeton, New Jersey, and I'm a member of the Nanticoke Lenni Lenape Tribal Nation. My parents are the late Phyllis Red Deer and Mark Quiet Hawk Gould. My parents were among the core group of people that initiated the modern day structure of our ancient tribe. This background, therefore, has allowed me to be immersed in tribal life as a child. And what is dear to me is my ancient Lenape arts and mastering these arts has been a tradition close to my heart. I have five children and three grandchildren and I am eager to pass on my Lenape traditions to them. If we do not persevere and teach, these arts will not continue to be passed down. This is an introduction to my No Face Dolls. I started with the No Face Dolls at the age of eight in 1971. The first was the No Face Rag Dolls that my mother made for us. She explained that she also had these dolls as a child and that the tradition was very old. They would use old clothing for the dolls and the dolls' clothes. The Cornhouse dolls were the second dolls that I learned in about 1974 at the age of 11. We learned this through the tribal gatherings and youth group meetings, and we learned to make the dolls from the one-piece corn husk and the 12-inch dolls by adding legs. These dolls were more permanent and made as bases for the more elaborate leather and cloth clothing. The latest dolls that I create are the gourd dolls. I started growing my gourds and making the dolls in 2000. I used the two-year-old gourds that I grow to make them. The No Face dolls are made of animal skins, corn husk, and gourds, and always without a face. This is for three reasons. First, we have great respect for our elders, so No Face would ever be put on any play toy, especially the dolls, in case it would resemble an elder. The second is that it allows for imagination. So we would play with our doll and we can see an imaginary face on it due to the imperfections of the materials that the dolls were made from. This represents a face made by the creator. And lastly, we are taught that dolls have no spirits. We disapprove of dolls with faces because evil can potentially possess them. Spirited dolls can keep the great spirit from each one of us. We realize that our children will create art with what we teach them and from those that were before us. Our past generations are alongside us and the generations that will come after us also experience our existence. We keep our ancestors' art forms alive through our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. This art that we leave for future generations is a gift. We continue what our parents and grandparents have shown us. We use our talents and skills to continue this art so that we can keep our creativity to keep this alive for future generations.